Adobe Captivate 9 gives you access to thousands of assets from the eLearning Brothers. Let's see how to browse, download, and use those assets. In Captivate 9, you click on the Assets button. That'll launch the eLearning Brothers library. From there, you can browse all sorts of various asset categories, such as cutout people, characters, games, interactions, scenarios, course starters, themes, layouts, and navigation players. As the eLearning Brothers create new and fresh content, that content will automatically get added to this library. You can view that down here. So all the different categories, you can click on most recently added, and then you'll see any new content that we've added. Just click the logo up here to go back to the home page. As you begin to download files, they are placed into various areas of Captivate 9 and you can access those later. Characters are downloaded to the Characters panel, themes are downloaded into the Themes panel, and then other files are downloaded into the Sample Projects and Others folders. All right, so let's see some examples of this. Let's go to Cutout People, Photorealistic, and then choose Business Characters. All right, from here, let's click on Brandon, and then let's choose one of these files to download. So let's download this one. All right, from here we can choose what size we'd like to download. I'll download the medium image. It says file completed. Let's just close this. And then all character images that you download are accessible by clicking media and then characters. You can see here, here's a whole bunch of different categories. These bottom four come pre-populated in Captivate. The top one, assets, that's where all of your downloaded images will go. I can see that's my image right there. I can click OK. And you can see that image comes directly into Captivate. And then you can you know, resize it and move it around at that point. Now, if you download themes, those will go directly into the themes panel. You can click on one of those and then apply that theme. All right, so let's talk about some of the other files. So I'll open up the asset library again. Now. Any file that you download that's a CPTX file, those will get downloaded into your sample projects folder. So let's look at some examples. So again, cut out people and themes, you saw where those go, but games, interactions, scenarios, course starters, layouts, and navigation players, those are all CPTX project files. So let's click on interactions, captivate. Let's click on this one right here as an example. Now here you can choose to download the CPTX file, and I'll show you where that goes. But there's also another option in some assets where you can download a zip file. It might be a PowerPoint file, some uh, font files, some graphic assets, and those will get downloaded to your others folder. So let's take a look at both of those. So I'm going to download this file right here. You can see right here it's downloading. And then I'm going to download the graphic source files as well. All right, that's complete. Okay, let me hit close on this. Now, all CPTX files will get downloaded to your sample projects folder. Now on Mac, you can find that under documents and then my Adobe Captivate projects. And then for Windows, you'll find those under eLearning assets and then sample projects folder. All right, so let me open this up here a little bit. All right, now the one that I just downloaded is right here. It's the Classy Todd. You can simply double click on that and then let that file open up in Captivate. All right, there it is. Now let's go back. If it's any other file besides a CPTX file, then it will download to the Others folder. You can see right here, let me expand this. There's that zip file that had the graphic assets that were available in that template when I downloaded it. Now there's also another way to open up the CPTX files that you downloaded. Now if we go back here to the welcome screen, you can click this button right over here, and then you can see all of the asset files that you've downloaded. Here's that one we downloaded earlier. You can click on that and click open. Okay, that's it. I've showed you how to use the eLearning Brothers asset library in Captivate 9. Now it's time to go build engaging and awesome courses.